Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. This is Dustin here, Average Guy Hi-Fi again. I've got another great uh, speaker review for you and it's by a brand that I don't really have any experience with. Um, in fact, I don't have any experience. It's one of the few brands out there I would say that I've never owned any of their products. So um, this right here is uh, Fluence. It's a Canadian company. Um, they've, you know, they're headquartered in Canada. They even got like uh, little Canadian flags on the, uh, on the, uh, the back pieces there. I'll kind of show you close up there. But yeah, they're still made in China, but it's a Canadian company, so that's that's good news there. But uh, very nice, nice quality. I mean, Fluence is kind of known. I've known about the brand for a few years now. They they definitely make waves on the forums and everything like that. But they're kind of known as a very inexpensive um, style speaker manufacturer. I mean, picking these up initially, I was like, holy smokes, these are <laughs> way heavier, way better quality than I than I thought. So. Um, we'll kind of dig into it, but I got the, it came with five speakers. It is the, um, the Fluence XL7F, which are the big towers. They're huge, by the way. I think they're like 47 inches tall, uh, a three-way speaker. It has an eight inch woofer. It has two six and a half inch mid ranges and then a one inch tweeter. So I'll show you those over there in a minute. This right here is the surround speakers. This is the uh, Fluence XL7S, S for surround, but really they're bookshelf speakers as you can see. Um, but you know, you can definitely, they have little brackets on the back so you can mount them on a wall, things like that. So, and the other speaker that I ended up grabbing was the matching Fluence XL7C for the center channel. So um, this is uh, super impressed. I, I ended up uh, picking this set up for $150 for all five speakers. The guy, we're doing our social social distancing and all that type of stuff. So <clears throat> I was in the neighborhood for work and uh, these popped up and the guy just did a, uh, left them out on the porch for me. I wiped them all down, put them in my car, uh, brought them home and then got them all set up and you know went that route. So just left him the cash and um, he left me the speaker. So that ended up working out pretty nice during this quarantine times and on the social distancing and everything that's going on. I wanna make sure that I'm not um, risking anyone. But basically this is just um, another great set of speakers. I was super, I've been listening to it. I actually unplugged my Definitive Technology um, Mythos at last when I hooked these up and then I've listened to them. I've listened to them last night. I've listened to them today. So I'm thoroughly enjoying my time with them. I will be listing them for sale and the Definitive ST Towers will go back in place because they are a better sounding speaker. But these right here for the price just gave it a run for its money. So enough of the boring stuff. Let's pop over there in the other room and then I'll show you these speakers in action and then we'll come over here um, and I'll give you guys the average guy hi-fi score and then we can kind of um, give you guys where these stack up with all the other speakers I've owned over the years so again thank you guys let's go in there and uh, let's do the fun part all right everyone got the uh, fluent speakers all set up here and then I'll show you guys the overview so it's like I didn't get a chance to show you the towers um, there's the one of the bookshelves there there is the other bookshelf over there. Obviously the Martin Logan subwoofer that I reviewed, those triad speakers, those have already sold. Um, somebody's coming to pick those up pretty soon, but there's the front stage right there. So um, the speakers that are on the left and the right there are the Fluence um, XL7Fs. So they have uh, six and a half inch woofers, one inch tweeter, and then you won't be able to tell this. Um, I tried to figure out a way without taking that bottom cap off, but uh, basically, there you kind of get a look at the speaker there. But underneath there, there is a eight inch um, down firing woofer. So there, it's not powered or anything. These speakers just run off your normal speaker uh, wires, but you'll get a look right there. That is the gloss compared to the uh, wood grain finish. There's kind of a close up of the uh, one inch dome tweeter. And then there's a close up of the um, six inch woofer or mid range speakers there. So very nice looking speakers. Um, like I mentioned, here is the center channel there. Again, this is kind of where I was hoping that they would have uh, put the six inch woofers in the center channel as well, uh, along with the surround speakers, but I know why they did this. This was obviously a, um, a budget-minded system here, So, uh, but they did a phenomenal job uh, assembling it. So um, the movie that we're gonna be watching here is uh, Spider-Man uh, Homecoming. This is the, the vulture scene, uh, has some really good bass response. Uh, in it. So I'll show you guys close-ups of the speakers in action and then we'll pop over there and I'll give you guys the average guy hi-fi score. So here we go.
Hey, Pedro. Okay, I usually don't do this here, but um, since the binding posts and everything was so nice, um, you can, I really just really like the quality of them. I've owned some pretty expensive speakers uh, over the years, but the binding posts that Fluence included with these towers were just very nice, it's like almost like jewelry. Um, at first I wasn't sure they would take uh, banana plugs, but then I realized that that little hole is actually a hole that goes all the way through. I thought this bar might have blocked it or anything, but um, there we go. That is kind of a look there of the binding post. Again, super high quality, I'm very happy with it. And there's a little look at the badge there. And then from this angle, you can kind of see the curve in the cabinet as well. So we'll pop over there. I'll give you guys my um, overall thoughts of the Average Guy Hi-Fi score. Hold on one second. I hope you guys enjoyed that demo. Um, Spider-Man Homecoming is a great movie in 4K. The audio, the visual, the whole thing is good. So I'll put the um, Amazon link in the uh, description down below, and then I'll also put the link to the website for Spider-Man Homecoming as well. So now we're on to kind of my favorite part of the videos where it's the Average Guy Hi-Fi review score. So again, we review these speakers off of uh, five different categories. There is um, quality, just the overall build construction, uh, the woofer material, all that type of stuff. So quality sound obviously um msrp pricing what they would cost in a store uh, when they were current these are discontinued by the way um and then there's also the aesthetics how they look in the room and then the last of the categories is what i ended up paying for them uh, and then basically each category is 10 points average them all out and then you get the average guy hi-fi score so we'll jump right into it uh quality i gave them an eight at eight and a half out of ten um these are just for the price, this should be rated higher, but there is a couple little gripes and we'll jump right into that. Um, my biggest complaint would be that this was their reference when they came out. I would have really liked the, if they would have had the center channel and the bookshelves have the six and a half inch woofers to match the towers. And I know that they, they probably put the five inch woofers in these um, to save money and things like that because this is a budget friendly system. But I think for it would have been nice to have an option to have all matching six and a half inch drivers in the system. So um, when it comes to the quality, I kind of kind of skimped them a little bit there. But eight and a half out of ten is a very very high score for my channel. Um, as you guys will see, the more speakers I review. So uh, when it comes to the sound, I also gave them an eight and a half out of ten. Um, the again the center channel and the uh, bookshelf or the surround speakers didn't have the dynamics the towers do. Now, obviously the towers are bigger, but I think that Fluence could have done a little bit better job of kind of beefing up the center channel and the bookshelves to match the uh, the tower speakers there. So um, I gave them an eight and a half out of 10 when it comes to the sound. Now onto the good news, uh, MSRP pricing. This is my first ever 10 out of 10. Uh, this is undoubtedly the best, you know, all the research that I did reviewing this set and everything. Fluence has an amazing reputation for building speakers at a budget friendly price that basically punch way above their weight. Um, these would be uh, really in line with those Polks that I review. Those Polks are going to be uh, quite a bit more money. Uh, these had the towers as well, too. So um, there's a lot of speakers that uh, that you know the names of that people just automatically search for. But definitely, if you're just starting out, add Fluence to that list. Maybe you can find something that is um, in your used market, or you can just buy a brand new set of speakers, have them delivered with the warranties and all that stuff for around $800 at the time when these came out. So 10 out of 10, unbelievable value. Um, right now, this is my high watermark for it comes to like um, entry level 
even feel bad saying entry level because they're super high quality, but kind of be beginner price range systems, I would say. This might be a good system for somebody out there that, um, that wants to dip their foot in the home theater. Maybe they're not sure if they're even gonna use it if they buy the speakers. Maybe test it out with something like this, and then if you uh, realize that you're using it and you enjoy it, then you can jump up to the really expensive stuff. So, um, when it comes to the MSRP, 10 out of 10. Great score there, obviously. Uh, the aesthetics, I gave an eight and a half out of 10 as well. Um, they look beautiful. They got a nice gloss front to them. I like the pearlescence woofers. Um, the binding posts look beautiful. I know that's totally dorky for me to say, but um, the binding posts look amazing. It's just a, a very nice looking set of speakers. So eight and a half out of 10. Um, and then we jump down to my price paid, eight and a half out of 10 as well. So a lot of eight and a half out of 10, but honestly, that's how these speakers fell in the line with the way that I'm looking at things. Um, so the reason I did that for my price paid, it's not rated higher is because they're not that expensive to begin with, you know, like, uh, $800 for a set of five speakers. I paid $150, which is an amazing deal, but I've had better deals when it comes to the MSRP pricing and what I actually paid for it. So eight and a half out of 10. So basically what that does is all averages out to the highest score I've offered so far yet. And it's 88% average guy, high fi score. So um, great deal. Keep an eye out for these speakers. They're going to make you very happy, especially considering the money that you have to put in to get into them. You can really get some nice sounding speakers for unbelievable money. I mean, $150 is uh, a very, very good deal and you'll be very happy with these. They'll punch way above their uh, weight when it comes to um, the price per performance, basically. So uh, just want to give a little shout out to all of the uh, medical staff out there, the fire department, the police department, the people stocking the shelves, the people driving the trucks, bringing us um, the food so they can stock the shelves. Everybody that can't stay at home, um, really want to give you a big shout out out there. I mean, we all appreciate the hard work that you're doing. Hope you guys will stay safe. Um, and eventually we're going to be hopefully able to help you guys out a little bit um, as soon as these curfews and things are lifted. So stay safe out there. Again, my name is Dustin. Please subscribe to the channel. This is what I'm going to be doing. Um, I put this right here. This is a, a Panamax um, M7500 Pro surge protector that I just picked up. I've already got a Panamax surge protector, but this is a much higher quality. So I'll be reviewing this next. And then I also have um, some speakers that I'm re reviewing next too. So I'm going to try to do these two videos a, uh, a week basically. So so if this is the type of stuff you're into, home audio on the used market, maybe a little budget friendly stuff, uh, subscribe to my channel, help spread the word. Uh, I think it's going to work. I'm already up to 168 subscribers, I think, when I made this video. So thank you guys that are all sticking around and stay safe out there.